What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. And today, we're doing one of my all-time favorite, my favorite Lone Ranger set, and one of my all-time favorite Wild West sets. This model is phenomenal. It's one of the best trains out there. I also motorized it, and we're gonna show that off. I'm really excited to uh, let you guys see what that's all about. Uh, but the set we're taking a look at is the Constitution Train Chase. That set 7911, it had 699 pieces, seven minifigs, retailed for 100 US, and it came out in 2013. Now nowadays, this set's going for 175 new, or 152 used roughly, and I'd say go buy it. If you want a really good Wild West train that you can put in your Wild West town, buy this guy, it's worth the money. Uh, anyways, we're gonna take a look at its positives and its negatives. There's not a lot of negatives with this. As you guys can tell, I'm really, really into it, but we're gonna get into why. Uh, but enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, I thought we could take a look at the locomotive along with all the railroad cars together. I just think that looks phenomenal. This track actually goes all the way around, which we're gonna put on another table when we show it off motorized. It's a big set, like it doesn't mess around. They give you a lot of tracks. But yeah, all in all, this just looks really clean. I love the look of it. I'd love to add a couple more uh, cars to this and just make it a little bit longer. Maybe that will be a project that I eventually do. Anyways, let's now break it down section by section. And the first build we'll actually take a look at is this water tower. I actually quite like this. This is the first time I ever recall Lego making anything like this in the Wild West. What's also awesome about it is if you open her up, it's literally carrot holding. It's supposed to be water, so they put those like nice little water pieces in there and I think it actually works really, really well. What's cool about it as well is if you wanna make it like it's there's supposed to be dynamite here and you wanna make it like they're using it, you just hit that and it works like so. So good playability, especially if you're a kid, you want something to do besides play with the locomotive, but if you motorize it, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, it also has these flat pieces right here so it can fall off, so it's supposed to be kinda of like water, it goes everywhere, right? Anyways, that's the first little build, let's now move on to the next. And here we have the next smaller build, so it's, they're supposed to be mining for stuff, they're exploding things, and this is much the same. It has another explode feature. Hit this and bang, opens up. You could literally hide some treasure or whatever you wanted in there, or it could just be that they're blowing up the rocks. But all in all, it's good playability. Uh, let's actually now move on to the locomotive. And here she is. So I have to say, this is probably the best 1800 type train Legos ever made. I absolutely love the printing right here. It is a sticker. It's not a printed piece, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, we'll just give you guys a 360 view of this. Very, very nice looking. This would be an awesome set to light up as well. I'd love to put a light in there. And it can also move, which you need that if it's gonna go along the tracks, especially if you're gonna motorize it. I just think they've knocked this out of the park. It is actually all kept together by magnets, which is actually pretty cool as well. I love the fact it has a little chimney here, a little bell, it just looks great. And you can actually access the cabin and pull this right off to reveal the minifig. And I just think all in all, great, great job. I really do like this locomotive. I try not to say great job on Legos part too often. I was notified I say it too much. But honestly, they did do a good job on this one. I mean, hard pressed to improve it. But yeah, that's the uh, locomotive. Let's now take a look at the uh, first car. Here we have the first railroad car. And I love the fact that it says Constitution. I love all this printing. I think that's fantastic. Let's give you guys a 360 view of it. It's kind of like a coal car. And what's interesting about it too is you can actually open it up. So you could hide a minifig in there, whatever you want. They're supposed to be mining actually for silver and they actually give you some silver in one of the uh, cars, which is actually yeah, pretty good. I, I do quite like that. I would have liked it if they gave us some gold coins, but that's not what they're mining for. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is you also get a Lone Ranger. 
on a horse. So you need that. This is one of the newer style horses. This was actually very new when this came out. And the cool thing about it is you can actually lift it up at the hips. And literally it's kind of like the horse is jumping or whatever if you want to give it a little bit more displayability. I think it's good. I mean, I still like the old style horses, but this one isn't bad. Yeah, but that's the uh, that's this car. Let's now move on to actually probably my favorite car that's included in this set, which is obviously the machine gun car. So first thing you'll notice obviously has this nice little machine gun. And what's cool about it is if you want to play with it or just as a cool play function, if it has a rotating gunner. So I thought that that was fabulous. And you can also twist it and go 360, which is nice. The other thing that's interesting about it too is there's a little bottle of rum. And like we were talking about, there is some silver pieces. So you get these old style crystals and kind of like bars of silver. Do quite like that. But yeah, all in all, just a nice looking little car. Let's now move on to my least favorite one, but it's the most important one when it comes to motorizing this set. But before we show it off, I just want to kind of show you what it looks like in its original form. Obviously, there's a little jail in here and there's a little area to kind of have a minifig maybe watching the prisoner in there. And then it has these sliding doors, which we'll get into. All in all, not a bad little car. It's just, it's just a little boring. So let's actually show you guys now the actual car and how this kind of works. So you can slide this open and that would have the air that the area where you could stick a mini pigs right here and then the jail would be in here now this is going to actually be a little helpful for you guys that want to motorize this this is where i stuck the motor along with the sensor and how i actually kind of turn this on is i have this little piece right here that i can just click in sometimes it comes off but generally it's good and now it's on so Works pretty well. There's also a dynamite right here. One of the things I wanted to mention, which was actually kind of cool, was it did give you this piece. It's kind of like the prisoner has been in this jail for a while. I'm not sure why they keep him in a, a railroad car that long, but yeah, he's trying to mark how long he's been in there and you get a nice little jail door. But mine is obviously cu customized so that you can actually fit the motor in there. It wouldn't go in the locomotive. The locomotive wasn't big enough. Neither was the constitution car. But yeah, that pretty well does all the builds. Uh, what we're gonna do now is show you guys it motorized and we're actually gonna turn it on and show you how it works. This wouldn't be a proper review though if we didn't show you one of the features. You literally had this little uh, Technic toggle, you could push it in and it's like the dynamite blew open the door and the prisoner could get free. So that was actually a pretty cool little feature. Just wanted to mention that before we uh, show this thing working. But yeah, nice feature, just not my favorite car. Let's now take a look at the train motorized. Okay, so we have her all set up. Uh, like I've been saying, I did not, I underestimated how big this track was and it did not fit on that table. So we're gonna review it here, at least the uh, motorized part. We don't normally review things here, but we, we're gonna do it this time just because it can actually fit on the table. So this track, Bear in mind, this is basically as big as the track is from the set. Now I did add, you normally get only two of these. There are another eight. So it is a little bit longer than what the set gives you. And then these curved tracks, that is as many as they give you. So it is actually sizable. It's just a little bit more oval. This one's a little bit more elongated as you guys can see. And you also wanna remove the back little panel the wood little panel right here. Reason being is that's where the sensor is and it just communicates a lot better if that's out of there. So it might look a little bit unrealistic on the back, but it's barely noticeable. So anyways, that's, uh, let's turn her on. So we got this little remote right here and we're gonna start her up. Oh, okay, so that's not the way you want it to go. <laughs> let's make it go like a normal locomotive. So to do that, we just twist the toggle until it stops. It is not the most sensitive thing, but okay, now it should go the other way. Okay, I was about to stop the camera. There we go, it's going. 
We'll twist it a little bit more. There she goes. So this, this is the reason why this is one of my fa all time favorite Wild West sets. I just think that, that is fantastic. You can even make it go a little bit faster. You can actually make it go to the point where it just goes off the tracks, but I don't really want to go any faster than this. And then if you want to slow her down again, just move the toggle. Now it's at a more, more of an acceptable speed. Anyways, I absolutely love this thing. One day I will have a Wild West kind of like town and this locomotive will be running through it. Super excited to show you guys this. This is one of the main reviews I wanted to show you uh, when I actually started up this channel. And here we have the first three minifigs. So we have Tonto, Captain Jay Fuller, and Butch Cavendish. Nice looking minifigs, as you can see. Uh, this one's obviously kind of like a bandito. <laughs> One of the rougher dudes that's included. Let's just give you guys a 360 view of them. And while we're back here, we'll actually show you guys the back face printing of each of them. So this guy's a very ugly dude. As you can see, he has a lot of scars and all kinds of stuff going on. The captain has an angry face and Tonto has a scared face. So I think that just looks, that looks fantastic. And now that we have their hats back on, let's just show you guys them again from the front. I also love the fact that Tonto has this little timepiece, which will actually show you guys on camera, just a little bit closer. I love it when they give you little printed detailed pieces. Also, you'll notice the captain has a sheath to put his cutlass, so I think that's actually really awesome as well. They all have leg printing. No complaints, these are kind of like Wild West sets from the 90s, but they're just new and improved, and they're in tan color. But yeah, those are the first three figs. Let's take a look at the next three. And here they are. So on the far left, you actually get a kid, which is actually kind of cool. His name's Danny Reed. Then here's his mom, Rebecca Reed. And then on the far right, we have La Femme Cole. So do quite like these ones. This one, I love the fact that you're getting more female minifigs for the Wild West theme, just because the old one from the 90s didn't give you any except with the Native Americans. So I'll actually show you guys their back face, pr uh, back face printing. And the mom is not that happy. She's kind of ticked off here. The kid's happy. And then on the front, she's scared and he's scared, so. She's not a very happy character. <laughs> this is something I notice. Normally it's like a happy face and a sad face. But yeah, all in all, love the look of these figs. I love the fact that she has this awesome looking dress. I just think that that looks extremely detailed and she just goes so well in a Wild West themed town, mock. Just all in all, love the way that fig looks. But yeah, that's actually now move on to the last fig and I got a little bit of a rant with him. And now we've come to the man, the myth, the legend, the Lone Ranger. So all in all, this is actually a good looking fig. That's not my rant, what my rant is about. And I actually just wanted to show you guys this real quick. You get a nice looking little slingshot that you can give the kid. So I thought that was actually a nice little inclusion. It's interesting, it's on a one by two flat piece. But back to the Lone Ranger. This is my issue with this dude as we'll give you guys a 360 view of him. He is included in absolutely every single Lone Ranger set. Now, you may say it's the Lone Ranger, it should include him, but he's literally, he's in the Native American set, he's in like a whole bunch of sets, he's in the Union Soldier set, he's just in everything and they don't need him. So basically, I think that if they would have kept this fig out of a couple sets, you'd be able to get a couple more awesome figs instead of a billion of these dudes because they are si still super cheap to buy on Bricklink. Like you can pick them up for about two, two bucks, give or take. But I will say I do like his torso printing. He has nice leg printing. Love his little badge. I love the fact that it kind of shows a shirt under his coat. And then the back of him, he, as you guys saw, he has nice back torso printing. No back face printing, just because it would show because of the hat. Hat does not cover the back of his face. All in all, I do quite like this fig. I love the fact that he has kind of more custom mold pistols, which is nice. 
It's just he's overused is my main issue with him. Uh, but yeah, those are the figs. Uh, let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this set has it all. It has great mini figs. It's a great all in all set. Fantastic looking locomotive. I love the machine gun. I love the water tower. The gel is a little lacking, but that's where you put the motor, right? And that's where you put the sensor. So it's fine. It's good. All in all, I just think that this is a perfect Wild West set and I'd be hard pressed to try and improve it. Again though, let me know, know what your guys' thoughts are on this. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. And if you'd like a video actually on me showing you guys how to motorize a train, let me know and uh, I'll definitely take that into consideration. Might be helpful for you guys. But all in all, just, this is just a great set. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Wild West reviews or Lone Ranger reviews. I absolutely love them and this is a perfect example why there's just so much good going on with this set and especially if you motorize it, it's the bee's knees. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.